Hi everyone, welcome back to Bella Branch DIY. If you're new here, my name is Michelle and I do weekly DIYs. Today's DIYs are really cute and beautiful last minute gift ideas that are perfect for Mother's Day or bridal shower or maybe just um, a gift for a girlfriend. So you guys ready? Let's go. For our first project, we're gonna use resin which I have never used before. And I will tell you, this is one of the easiest, easiest projects and it was so fun to make. I'm gonna link all the uh, things that you need in the description below, but you probably have a lot of the stuff like acrylic paint or glitter and you just need a few other things. When you're working with resin, there are two parts and you're gonna put them in two separate cups, each bottle, the exact same measurement and then you're gonna take one cup and pour it into the other cup and then grab like a popsicle stick or something that you can toss later and you're gonna stir it for about three minutes. Then we're gonna take some little tiny cups because I'm gonna make different colors and instead of using the dyes that you, you, that you can buy for this kind of resin, I'm using acrylic paint and wait do you see at the end, it turned out fantastic. So we're just gonna use a couple drops and just keep adding a few drops until we get the color that we want. You're gonna see that I'm using like a purple pink hue. Then you're gonna grab your mold and we're gonna just start pouring the resin. And I started from the outside and then I worked my way in and we're just gonna use a little color and start layering. So I started with my deeper purpley color and then the pink color and then more of a mauve color that I kind of added after. And then I thought, I, did, I want to do the reverse, so I grabbed one more mold and did white around the outside, then pink, and then purple, and then continued on. Then you can grab a little stick and kind of pull parts out. And I'm going to show you two things with either glitter I put on one or gold leaf. And actually at the end you'll be able to see the difference, but I like the gold leaf the best. That really looks good at the end. So gently tap in the gold leaf and trying not to disturb your resin by pushing too hard. You're just gonna kinda tap it and you don't have to get it all the way in yet because next, as you see, we're gonna take some clear resin and we're gonna pour that on top and that's gonna hold in your gold leaf and your glitter, whatever you have in there. And then I just decided on this one, I wanted to add just a little more color. And then I put more of the clear. And then you're gonna want it to dry for 24 hours. And when it's dry, just so easy to take out of your molds. Look at how beautiful it turned out. But we're gonna add one more detail to this. We're gonna grab some gold paint and we're gonna put that on the edges but really it's beautiful and so easy. And what a great gift for somebody. So we just grab a little paintbrush and some gold paint and just paint the outside. And then this one, since it's more of an actual geode shape with the center of it missing, you, I just put that also on the interior. And after you're painting the edge of your geode coasters, you're going to let it dry and then we're done. These are so beautiful. These really do look fantastic. They're the perfect gift. They're great as coasters, and they really look like those little geode coasters that you get from Anthropology. I hope you guys try this project. For our next project, I'm taking some inspiration from a project I did during Christmas a couple years ago where I took dried flowers and I made ornaments on glass. I'll link that at the end so you guys can look at that. But you're gonna grab just a little glass bowl and some Mod Podge and we're going to cover the outside of the bowl and just completely cover that. Then you're gonna grab some tweezers, or I literally could not find my tweezers, so that's why I'm using my jewelry pliers. I don't know where they are. But you're gonna grab some flowers and you're gonna to wanna to turn them upside down when you're putting them on the bowl. So see how it's very red right there? And then we're gonna flip that over and put that upside down. Because when we're done with this, 
we're going to see the flowers from the inside of the bowl. So you're just going to keep adding the flowers and you're going to put some Mod Podge on top of each flower, gently adding them. And see when I did this one, I kind of show you how you may want to lift up some of the petals to add some more of the Mod Podge underneath just to make sure that it's completely covered and totally adhered to the glass bowl. And then we're just going to continue on and you're going to cover the whole bowl or you can have a lot of flowers or a little, it's really up to you. But already it looks really pretty and it's so fun to make and so easy. After we finish the bowl, we're going to grab some gold leaf and the paintbrush that we used with the Mod Podge. We're going to tap that gently on there and then grab Mod Podge and paint that over the gold leaf. And our goal with the gold leaf, you have to be very gentle with it because it will tear and you don't want to rub it. You just kind of gently paint it. You put the Mod Podge down first, then you put the gold leaf on top. And the whole goal is to cover the whole outside of the bowl where you don't see any of the flowers from the outside. Once you've completely covered all the flowers from the outside of your bowl, you're gonna put another coat of Mod Podge to make it sealed. And then we're gonna let it dry for about 24 hours. And then you're ready to use the bowl or give it as a gift. It's a perfect little earring bowl for, or for rings. I think it'd be really cute by your sink. So when you take your ring off and you're doing dishes, you put the ring in there. But I think it turned out beautiful and what a great gift for somebody. I hope you guys love today's DIYs. I think they turn out so beautiful. They're so easy. They're perfect for last minute gift giving. And I wanna know what you guys think. Be sure to comment and let me know which one is your favorite and if you plan on trying these DIYs. And at the end, I'm gonna have a couple more DIYs using those dried flowers that you may have missed from some previous videos. These are super fun DIYs and they were super popular. And so I hope you guys like them. Until next time, happy DIYing.